there was a brilliant scientist named Dr. Emily Johnson, who had always been fascinated by the idea of time travel. Despite the warnings of her colleagues, Dr. Johnson devoted her entire career to developing a time machine that could transport her to different eras and places. Finally, after years of hard work, Dr. Johnson succeeded in building her time machine. She eagerly stepped into the machine and set the controls for the year 1845, determined to witness the height of the Victorian era for herself. But as the machine began to hum and whir, Dr. Johnson felt an icy chill run down her spine. Suddenly, she found herself hurtling through time and space at a dizzying speed, with no control over where she was going. When the machine finally came to a stop, Dr. Johnson stepped out and found herself in a deserted alleyway. The streets were eerily quiet, and the only sound was the distant howling of a pack of wolves. As she wandered through the empty streets, Dr. Johnson realized that something was very wrong. The people she saw were dressed in old-fashioned clothing, but their faces were twisted into grotesque masks of terror. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the shadows. It was a woman, dressed in a long, flowing dress, with dark hair and piercing eyes. She beckoned Dr. Johnson closer, and whispered a warning in her ear. Beware, traveler, the woman hissed. You have stepped into a place where time is twisted and the dead walk among the living. Turn back now, before it's too late. But Dr. Johnson was determined to explore this strange new world, and she pressed on, drawn by the promise of adventure and discovery. As she walked, she began to notice strange anomalies in time. The sun seemed to move too quickly across the sky, and the shadows cast by buildings were distorted and elongated. Suddenly, she stumbled upon a group of hooded figures, huddled together in a circle. As she approached, she realized that they were performing some kind of dark ritual. Without warning, the figures turned towards her, their eyes blazing with malice. Dr. Johnson realized too late that she had stumbled into a trap. As the figures closed in on her, Dr. Johnson knew that she had made a terrible mistake. She had tampered with the fabric of time itself, and now she was paying the price. In the end, Dr. Johnson was never seen or heard from again. Some say that she was swallowed up by the forces of time, forever lost in the swirling vortex of history. Others claim that she still walks the streets of that strange, haunted world, forever searching for a way to make her way back to her own time. Years passed, and Dr. Emily Johnson's disappearance became a distant memory. But rumors continued to circulate about the strange and terrifying world that she had encountered on her fateful time-traveling journey. One day, a young physicist named Sarah Thompson stumbled upon Dr. Johnson's old laboratory, hidden away in a forgotten corner of the city. Intrigued by the strange machines and equipment that she found there, Sarah began to dig deeper into Dr. Johnson's research. With the help of Dr. Johnson's notes and blueprints, Sarah began to piece together the workings of the time machine. Despite the warnings of her colleagues, Sarah was determined to try her hand at time travel herself, and see if she could uncover the truth about Dr. Johnson's disappearance. As Sarah stepped into the machine and set the controls for 1845, she couldn't help but feel a sense of foreboding. But she was determined to press on, and see where the machine would take her. As the machine began to hum and whir, Sarah felt a sudden jolt, and then she was hurtling through time and space at an incredible speed. When the machine finally came to a stop, Sarah stepped out into a familiar-looking alleyway. But something was different this time. The air was thick with an otherworldly energy, and Sarah could feel a sense of danger lurking around every corner. As she walked through the deserted streets, Sarah began to notice strange anomalies in time, just like Dr. Johnson had before her. The sun seemed to move too quickly across the sky, and the shadows cast by buildings were distorted and elongated. But Sarah pressed on, determined to unravel the mysteries of this strange world. And then, Suddenly, she saw her, Dr. Emily Johnson, standing in the middle of the street, her eyes wild and her hair tangled. Sarah approached her cautiously, unsure if she was real or just a figment of her imagination. But as she drew closer, she saw that Dr. Johnson was holding a strange device in her hand, one that looked like it had been ripped straight out of a science fiction novel. Without a word, Dr. Johnson handed the device to Sarah and vanished into thin air. Sarah was left standing alone in the middle of the street, holding the strange device in her hand. As she examined it more closely, Sarah realized that it was a key, a key that could unlock the secrets of time and space, and allow her to travel freely through the ages. With a sense of excitement and trepidation, Sarah stepped back into the time machine, and set the controls for an unknown destination. She knew that she was taking a huge risk, but she was determined to discover the truth about the strange and terrifying world that Dr. Johnson had encountered. And so, Sarah Thompson set out on a journey through time and space, a journey that would take her to the very limits of human knowledge, and beyond. 
As Sarah hurtled through the time stream, she felt the strange energies of time and space coursing through her body. She saw strange and wonderful things as she traveled through the ages, from the dawn of humanity to the far reaches of the future. But no matter where she went, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that she was being followed. There was something lurking just beyond the edge of her vision, a shadowy presence that seemed to be watching her every move. As she journeyed deeper into the time stream, Sarah realized that the device that Dr. Johnson had given her was more than just a key, it was a powerful weapon, capable of destroying the very fabric of time itself. With great power came great responsibility, and Sarah knew that she had to use the device wisely if she was to prevent the destruction of time and space. And then, one day, Sarah found herself in a strange and desolate world, a world of ash and dust, where the sky was dark and the air was choked with smoke. As she explored this barren wasteland, Sarah discovered that she was not alone. There were other beings there, too, beings that had been warped and twisted by the ravages of time. But even in the midst of this bleak and terrifying landscape, Sarah refused to give up hope. She knew that with the power of the device in her hands, she could restore the balance of time and space, and put an end to the horrors that she had witnessed on her journey. With a fierce determination, Sarah raised the device, and unleashed its power on the twisted beings that surrounded her. The device hummed and crackled with energy, and a bright light filled the sky. And then, suddenly, Sarah was back in her laboratory, standing before the time machine. She looked down at the device in her hand, and realized that it was no longer a weapon, it was a key once again, a key that could unlock the mysteries of time and space, and allow her to explore the wonders of the universe. With a sense of wonder and awe, Sarah stepped back into the time machine, and set the controls for an unknown destination. She knew that she had been given a great gift, the gift of time travel, and she was determined to use it wisely to explore the furthest reaches of the universe and unlock the secrets of the cosmos. As Sarah hurtled through the time stream once again, she felt a sense of exhilaration and wonder. The mysteries of time and space lay before her, waiting to be explored. She traveled to distant worlds and civilizations, witnessing wonders beyond her wildest imagination. She encountered beings of incredible intelligence and power, and learned the secrets of the universe from their teachings. But as she journeyed deeper into the time stream, Sarah began to realize that there was a darkness lurking within the fabric of time and space. An evil force that threatened to destroy all that she held dear. And so, armed with the knowledge and power that she had gained through her travels, Sarah set out on a quest to confront this darkness and put an end to its malevolent influence. She traveled through time and space, battling the forces of evil and defending the innocent. She witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, and saw the birth of stars and galaxies. And finally, after what felt like an eternity of travel, Sarah arrived at her destination, the heart of the darkness that threatened to consume the universe. She stood before a great and terrible being, whose power dwarfed anything she had ever encountered. But Sarah was not afraid. She knew that she had the power of time and space on her side, and she was determined to use it to put an end to this evil once and for all. With a fierce determination, Sarah unleashed the full power of the device, channeling the energy of time and space into a single, devastating blow. The darkness screamed and writhed in agony, but Sarah did not relent. And then, suddenly, it was over. The darkness was gone, and Sarah was left standing in the midst of a universe that was reborn and renewed. As she gazed out at the stars, Sarah knew that her journey through time and space was not yet over. But she was ready for whatever lay ahead, armed with the knowledge and power that she had gained through her travels. And so she stepped back into the time machine, and set the controls for an unknown destination. The mysteries of time and space lay before her, waiting to be explored. And Sarah was ready for anything that the universe had to offer. As Sarah traveled through the time stream, she couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. She had overcome incredible challenges and faced seemingly insurmountable foes, but she had emerged victorious. Now, there was nothing left to fear. But as she traveled deeper into the time stream, Sarah began to notice something strange. The universe seemed to be growing darker, and the stars began to flicker and fade. Something was wrong, and Sarah knew that she had to investigate. She journeyed to the edge of the universe, where she found a massive black hole that seemed to be swallowing everything in its path. The black hole was so massive that it was distorting time and space, causing entire galaxies to be ripped apart. Sarah knew that she had to act fast if she was going to save the universe from certain destruction. She began to work feverishly, using the device to manipulate time and space in ways that she never thought possible. For days on end, Sarah worked tirelessly, channeling the power of time and space to create a massive portal that would allow her to enter the black hole and stop its destructive force. Finally, the portal was complete, 
and Sarah stepped through it, entering the black hole's event horizon. The forces of gravity were so intense that she felt her body being stretched and compressed, but she refused to give up. With a burst of energy, Sarah unleashed the full power of the device, creating a massive explosion that sent shockwaves through the entire black hole. The darkness began to recede, and the stars once again began to shine. Sarah emerged from the black hole, battered but victorious. She knew that she had saved the universe from certain destruction, and that she had done what few others could have even imagined. And as she traveled back through the time stream, Sarah knew that her journey was far from over. The mysteries of time and space were infinite, and there were always new challenges waiting to be faced. But Sarah was ready for anything. She had the power of time and space at her fingertips, and she knew that she could face anything that the universe had to offer. With a sense of wonder and excitement, she set the controls for an unknown destination, ready to continue her journey through the infinite mysteries of the cosmos. As Sarah sat on a hill, watching the sun set over the distant mountains, she knew that her journey had come to an end. She had traveled through time and space, facing incredible challenges and discovering wonders that few could ever imagine. But now, she was ready to return home, to the familiar comforts of her own time and place. She had experienced more than most people could ever dream of, and she knew that she had been changed forever by her journey. With a sense of peace and fulfillment, Sarah activated the device and set the controls for home. As she watched the stars streak past her window, she knew that she would never forget the incredible adventures that she had experienced. But most of all, she knew that she would never forget the people that she had met along the way. The heroes and villains, the geniuses and fools, and the everyday people who had touched her heart in ways that she could never forget. As the device brought her back to her own time and place, Sarah felt a sense of gratitude and awe. She knew that she had been given a gift, the gift of exploration and discovery, and she knew that she would spend the rest of her life cherishing it. And so, as Sarah stepped out of the device and back into her own time and place, she smiled, knowing that her journey through time and space had been more than just a series of adventures. It had been a journey of discovery, of wonder, and of the infinite possibilities that lay ahead.